Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. So we're now almost a week into the Arch Nemesis League and the Siege of the Atlas expansion, and GGG revealed yesterday a what we're working on post. This is just basically a bit of an outline as to what they're working on currently, the bugs that they consider the highest priority to fix, and also some of the sorts of changes that they're looking to update. So I wanted to bring your attention both to this post, but also to a couple of other things. Firstly, there is an update from Bex. Bex has said here that they're planning on doing some improvements for the Arch Nemesis user interface. I really agree that these are necessary. The Arch Nemesis user interface is a little bit clunky, uh, a little bit perhaps being slightly an understatement there. And I would really like to see, like the simplest thing would be a duplicate detector. That would be the easiest thing to implement. But the thing that I would most like to see would be a goal that you're working towards. This would be something like, I want to work towards Innocence Touched, and then it will highlight everything you can use to create an Innocence Touched, perhaps in three different colors. One for, this can be used directly in the final recipe for Innocence Touch. Another one for, this is used in a recipe that you can currently complete for an Innocence Touched component. And then the third one would be, this is used in a recipe you cannot currently complete, but one that would be a component towards the Innocence Touch overall recipe. That'd be my idea of what would be a perfect setup for it. I'm interested to see what they end up doing. But duplicate detection is the main one, just so that if you are carrying, say, six mirror image, that you can go, oh, I didn't realize I had six of these things. I may as well start making some plans to spend them. In terms of other things, there are some plans to make some stash tab functionality for influenced items with the new influences. There's some fixes to public mapping parties, which are something that I highly recommend. Everyone who is in softcore trade enabled league gives a shot to just joining public mapping parties at some time. It's just a really fun way to play the game. It's not the most efficient way, but it is just a lot of fun. And you'll play with a variety of people, some of whom will just want to get the job done others of whom will be chatty and most of my in-game friends list is made up of people that I have met through doing public mapping. Uh, they're going to be changing Kirak to allow him to purchase items from you. So for him to function as a vendor, this is a huge upgrade. And then there's a number of other little minor things like helmet microtransaction fixes and allowing Shift and V to function as an undo in expedition explosive placements. There's another of, a number of other changes that they're having a bit more trouble pinning down. Uh, blighted maps have had a really nasty bug this league. Uh, it's not that you're wasting your blighted map, it's that you just keep trying to open it and it just doesn't open and it doesn't open and then eventually, eventually you're able to make it open. So that's something that they're working on. They also intend to slightly increase the loot on blighted maps and that's because awakening objective bonuses were removed. And as a result, Blighted Maps offer a little bit less loot than they did in the 3.16 era. There's also a summary of all the hotfixes, which is worth having a look at. Now, in terms of other things that have been commented on, uh, Mark from GGG has also posted on Reddit that a significant bug that exists with the Pride Aura is going to be fixed. So this is something that allows Pride in conjunction with one of the new Blessing skills to be functioning for free. Uh, this is not intended behavior and that it will be fixed, but that it's not necessarily going to be hot fixed. Uh, it'll be something that'll be in a later stat, uh, in a later update. So don't um, plan a character under the assumption that you'll have that forever. You'll have it for a little while, then it will go away because it's definitely like it's clearly unintended behavior when you read the text of the blessing gem in question. Anyway, that's all I got on that. Uh, may your Valobs have interesting results and I hope you have fun in the current league.